the last three days at Headlands School, uh, we've been working with the Balkan Attics uh, and the group of pupils from GCSE and A-level music courses and also some of the gifted and talented pupils from the wider school uh, to put together three songs for a performance at Musicport World Music Festival at the Spa in Bridlington. It's just great to spend. I think it's always good to be different, like to do something different so you can explore things, you know. I'm quite excited about it really. One reason we, we want to do this project here in Bridlington is it's an area of the region that doesn't have a huge amount of ethnic diversity, so we want to bring world music to this part of the region. The music we play is derived from Balkan brass music, of which there are lots of different sources. In the band we have people from Turkey, Macedonia, Serbia, Romania and England. If you, you get a little bit familiar with this kind of music, you can actually see and experience directly how these two cultures, the Central European, Austrian kind of thing, classical music, going back to Mozart and everything, has merged with the Oriental style to produce um, Balkan music really. It's such a good opportunity for all the students to work with different people um, and just have a really, really good time. And I think by bringing people into a school, um, the students are always more interested because it's something completely new. Well, the instruments and stuff like an accordion is not like your everyday instrument that you hear in a lot of bands. I think just learning about the music from the other culture, I think when they were performing to us the other day, their songs, it was quite inspiring. Like the different types of music they were playing, it was really interesting to learn. Well, it's important because you get to understand the different cultures and the different types of music and explore them because I wouldn't have really started playing music like that if I hadn't come to this. They're really good, yeah. They've got um, they've got a brilliant like sense of humour and they're, they're good. They're nice people. I think that the young people have shown themselves to be uh, very very good learners. In fact, they've they've really uh, applied themselves. They've put a lot of commitment into the project. I think the most difficult is when the kids um, get the first touch with the, with the music, with the tunes they need to be doing. And then all, as it becomes more familiar, gets more easier. And I have a feeling they really enjoy what they are doing. Just being in, helping the young people getting used to the 7-8 the rhythm and the 9-8 rhythm. I mean, the young people are used to working in 4-4, four, 3-4, four, 2-4, four, 6-8. Four, but you know, seven eight is quite tricky. Uh, we've been learning like rhythms like um, and then uh, we've been like like practicing to learn them. I've been saying and the new styles I've learned is sort of Spanishy, sort of maybe like. Luke, of course, who's learnt the accordion from scratch, uh, just seems to be a total natural at it. it. It was less than half an hour, he was playing it like he'd had it for years. It's the first time I've ever played an accordion and it's, it's really fun. I thought it'd be a lot harder than what it is. Obviously it's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy because it's like you're playing this and then you, you're playing this at this side, so it's pushing this out as well. This is Shash Korea, this one. Sometimes I forgot that I'm dealing with uh, English pupils because they were saying quite right the words, you know, they, they've been trying really hard, you know, to pronounce the right words. It's more challenging because you've got a set, a set time to learn the language and then you've also got to get the pronunciation right and how to say, how, how to say it and when to say it properly.
Um, well, I think they'll be inspired just to really go out and listen to different things. Because we're going to the spa on Saturday and being part of the music court, they listen to other people and I think a lot of them will go back on Sunday and experience different things. They definitely put a lot, lot, a lot into it. There's a lot of musical talent in this school, actually. It's been really good to like play in a big group because I haven't really had much experience of that before. It'll, it'll inspire me to do different things, yeah. It'll, it, certainly every time you, you, you see a bit a bit more different music, it, it always inspires you to you know learn different like types of music you can put into your own songs. Well, it's got me to do a lot more things in music because there's loads of activities going on that I've not really done, so I can try a few more out, I think.